In this course, we will explore some great stuff that you can do in HID development. When it comes to HID device development, the most common way to start is by using a microcontroller. However, we need to find another platform if we want to build complex applications that need more computing power. Hopefully, we can now define a single board computer as a USB device. This is made possible via the USB OTG interface. In the Raspberry Pi family, the Pi Zero is the one who has this feature. It has a 1 GHz single core CPU and 512 MB of RAM. However, if you are looking for more computing power, you can go for the Android C1 Plus. This big boy has a 1.5 GHz quad core CPU and 1 GB of RAM. Note that you can either run Ubuntu or Android on it. Next up, we have the USB HID terminal application which allow you to communicate to a device from your Android smartphone. You can get it for free on the Play Store, and also get the source code on Git. Alright, here are some HID concepts. Though the HID specification was intended for USB devices, now it is extended for Bluetooth and I2C devices. Devices such as wireless game controllers, mice, and keyboards are usually using HID via Bluetooth. That way, game consoles such as the Wii, or even the PS3 are using Bluetooth HID for their remote controller. In the other hand, Single board computers such as the Latte Panda allows the user to connect an I2C HID touch screen for general purpose. This gives plenty of possibilities to the manufacturer for designing a product. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed this extra lecture. Hope to see you back soon.